Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm John. And together we're OCB Reactions. And today we're returning to a band we've already uh, listened to once uh, because it's a song we haven't heard and some of our new subscribers wanted us to come back to it. And I, I like the band so I got a problem doing it. Yeah, I I actually enjoyed them a lot. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what this one's like. This is uh, Periphery Stranger Things. Um, this oh, I need to for sound here. Okay. There we go. And Okay. <coughs> um, it's interesting what they're doing with the rhythm in this. Yeah. It's very trippy. It's all over the place, kind of. I like it. And compared to the other song, I prefer him doing the clean singing. I think he's got a better clean voice than he has a gruff voice. Right. Um, and, I mean, I don't really know what to compare it to. It, it, it kind of stands on its own. Yes, it does. Song, and it's like... And as I check, as I will go check out other periphery songs, I have an inkling that each song will have its own identity. Right, which actually is how music should be. Yes, yeah. you shouldn't be following a uh, necessarily a formula. Uh, yeah, the best comparison, the only real comparison I can give with this is, and I know it's a stretch, some of. Uh, when Faith No More got a little bit more technical, maybe. Oh, I could see that. I uh, mean, that's about the closest I can give this. This is... I mean, the if if it does go back into the gruff of vocals, it will make me think more along the lines of, like, Scar Symmetry. Okay. If Scar Symmetry's vocalist never heard Boston. <laughs> because that's where it's like, oh, here's heavy metal, death metal Boston. This is one of the reasons I like them. But it's like, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I can, but it's hard to headbang. Yeah, it, it's not. Okay, I'll stop it. I don't want you to. It's going to all these neat places. I want to see where it goes next. And yeah, this is... Yep. I, okay, my, my, my earlier comment about Faith No More. Yeah, scratch that. I, and the Scar Cemetery doesn't really... That was more of a joke. But um, the only knock I have on this band for a minute, I don't like his hardcore. The sound of his hardcore vocals. Right. His death vocals is like his really... He's good at that. Yeah. He's got a really clean voice. And I love the little Michael Jackson sounding effects, affectations <laughs> he did on his voice. Like, I could hear Michael Jackson singing this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with the uh, like the the hardcore voice. Um, I, 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 
it's been one of those that for me a lot of vocalists it's hit or miss on that and the reason being uh, is so many of them it sounds forced they don't sound legitimately angry uh, yeah I can see that like one of my comparisons was uh, when with Mushroom Head when J-Man left and they got Waylon Revis mm -hmm. and J-Man just it, I'm sorry he had to me had no soul when Waylon came in he could sing he could scream and but when he did it didn't sound forced it sounded like he was legitimately it, angry it, it was organic yeah, yeah. and uh which that's where my problem with these guys are is it's too it's forced when he's doing that it doesn't sound like he's actually I mean the music happy. is amazing yes oh uh, um, and when he does that I just pull I just pay more attention to the music than I do to him I the, the only thing I'm going to say is I uh, the, the drummer on this just to be able to pull this stuff off is yeah. There's there's either genius or insanity, one of the two. Either way, it sounds good. Yes. Yeah, I think you look at the sheet music and saw the time signatures. Most drummers would cry. I like that. I, I, I Charlie Parker played in the drum. Wow. It's not just me that thinks he kind of sounds like Michael Jackson there, is it? No, no, okay. it, it is not just you. I, uh, Which I think is a bonus, actually. Yeah, but he, he's actually, he has an amazing voice. Yes, he does. Especially for any kind of metal or anything. I mean, this is just, uh, I'll, I'll even say as a guitarist, I'd hate to be trying to play some of the, some, along with what that drummer's doing. It's just... Yeah, it, wow. Yeah, it, the drummer by himself is worth listening to the song. Yes. But then you have the rest up, and they're all super talented, apparently. Yeah, um, that's obvious. Yes, but they yeah, will go, keep going. <laughs> it's a little more organic there. Yeah. He puts me in mind of Corey Taylor from Slipknot and Stone Sour, w w right there with with oh, his says, uh, with his gruffer vocals. Yes, which I, I actually uh, that he's one of my favorite parts of both bands is uh, is the vocals. Yeah, uh, but that's I just wanted to throw that in there. That's uh, something that I would notice because like initially I didn't notice the the keys in the background because what well, they buried them because they should because. They're highlighting everybody else. Yes. As they need to be highlighted. I mean, they, they did a really good job with putting this song together. With layering. Layering and production. Um, 
it's like this is one of the songs I think like I would like it more and more the more I listen to it because I would pick up something else as I went along it's like just I'm picking up things here and there just listen to it for the first time so. which also hats off to the producer of this song you you, you did it an awesome job also gotta say for a hard band like this there's still an amazing amount of beauty in this music yeah it, it, there's a lot of life in it period I mean, a lot of even when it gets kind of frantic at times it's still an amazing piece of work and I can see why it's that guy's favorite song oh um, uh, thank you yeah thank you uh, I, just, I, I had to comment about just how amazing this actually yeah, it, is. It's a beautiful song. It just it's kicks your ass when it's, I mean, which is a lot of prog metal's problem sometimes. It's like, yeah. oh, that's nice and flowery, but uh, didn't make me, didn't kick my ass at all. Wasn't, I, yeah, I, and uh, I'm like, I'm going to play the tulips, but I'm not throwing up the horns. And yeah. after a while, some of it just gets downright boring too. yeah this is not boring no well let's yeah. keep going with it Okay, though. Not every song got to end with a bang. Yeah, I know. Oh, I got the swell. Yeah. I like it. Okay, now we're floating in space. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just... Oh, go ahead. Wow. That, that's that's where I'm at. Just wow. That is so much better than the second season of the Netflix show of the same name. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, that was a seven and a half minute long song, and I'm like, it's over? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it stuck with me with the way they ended it. It's like, I'm not going to forget it anytime soon. Uh, I don't, my, uh, I kind of don't want to do another episode after that, because it's going to be hard to divorce myself from what yes. they did to me. This this was just, uh, I, I actually, I, I want to go out and buy physical copies now, because uh, this, it just blew me away. That, that's all there is to it. Um I could listen to these guys yeah. over and over and not get bored with it. Yeah. I, and it's bands like this because I know they're probably pretty obscure. Like they probably not, they don't have gold records or anything. And it pisses me off when like bands like System of a Down actually have gold records. Yes. And not that System of a Down is a terrible band, but they're hacks compared to this. Yeah. Uh, like Corn or any of the new metal crap. Um, there are good bands. But these guys kicked their ass and should be more popular. And here, here's, uh, here's the other thing about it. Even in these other bands, if you pay attention, they've actually got really good musicians. Yeah. They just don't showcase what they're capable of. Well, these guys, that's exactly what they're doing. But they also, with Periphery, you also have very, very talented songwriters. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would definitely be... I will say I do like this better than what Prayer Position Part One that we initially did. Right. Initially, I'm like, ah, this isn't like moving me like the other one did. But by the end, I'm like, bar none, I just kicked the shit out of it. Yeah. Uh, the, I, the, it may not be a headbanger all pr- from beginning to end, but I don't think that's the point. That no. Once again, it's music. It's meant to make you feel something, and this one definitely does yeah. that. Yeah. It's just, uh, just wow. I guess that's yeah. My summation it's like thank you for suggesting this specific song i understand why it's your favorite song um it's great composition great musicianship great uh uh uh, uh production yeah every everything about this is awesome yeah i agree and his michael jackson vocals are just cool yeah it's just like that's ice cream on top of it yeah like yes. that's the t- Whipped cream on top of the Sunday. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm definitely uh, periphery goes in the playlist. Yeah. Um, now saying that, like we're probably not going to consistently revisit bands, right? Um, um, but we'll tell you in the comments. It's like, oh, honestly, there probably won't be too much periphery we haven't heard after this, right? Um, and and and, so, and the fact that it, we're supposed to be bringing something new to the table as we keep going, and it, if we keep coming back to periphery, we won't be bringing something new to the table and also putting everything else to shame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's it for this one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Please share, uh, get the word out about Periphery, get the word out about uh, OCB. Uh, And don't forget to leave a comment uh, with any suggestions you want us to react to, because that's what the show's about. And we'll react to anything. And I guess uh, fairly well. Thank you.